Hey there, welcome to Watch Recap, and today, I am going to recap a 2019 thriller movie called, Evil Intent. Okay, so let's start. The movie begins with us seeing a beautiful nurse named Gwen, entering the room of an old lady patient. The patient was facing shortage of breath and asked the nurse to help her, but, the nurse reduced the level of oxygen and blocked the tube, causing the patient to go unconscious, she then goes outside and calls the doctor to check out the patient, the doctor manages to save the lady's life and notices how the nurse is smiling like a psychopath looking at the old lady suffering. Gwen then walks away looking sort of satisfied of doing this to the lady. We then see a large beautiful house, in the house lives Mira who is currently making breakfast for his husband Todd, their son Max approaches them, it is revealed that Max suffers from muscular dystrophy, and needs crutches to walk. Following a little conversation, it turns out that Gwen is hired by the family for Max, she also works in the house besides taking care of Max, while having lunch, Max accidentally drops his crutches and while helping Max, Gwen looses the end of the crutch, so as to make him fall later, after this, Todd proceeds to leave, and Gwen seems to be jealous of the love between Todd and Mira. Later, Myra's friend Karen visits her, and they both notice how happy Max is with Gwen. Mira admits to Karen that Gwen holds great importance in her family, right now Gwen is listening to them talking. Karen suggests Mira to look for other nurses who might replace Gwen, but Mira refuses and says Gwen is taking good care of Max, then, they both rushes outside as they hear Max screaming, seeing Max on the ground, Mira blames Gwen for being careless, but not knowing about Gwen. Max defends her saying that the crutch suddenly broke, Mira calls Dr. Keller to inform about this incident and also ordered new crutches for Max. At night, Mira apologizes to Gwen for behaving that way, but Gwen says she understands her feelings for his son and makes Mira a therapeutic tea. The next day, Mira joins the group of people with muscular dystrophy and shares about Max's condition. Max was diagnosed with the condition this year, it started when she noticed that Max couldn't climb a playing slide and falls every time, she's crying while telling this to everyone in the room. While reaching home, Mira was surprised by Gwen and was offered some tea, while Mira was sleeping. Dr. Keller brings home new crutches for Max, but Gwen stops her from going into Max's room, so, while leaving, Keller realizes that she had seen Gwen somewhere before, but can't remember accurately. During the evening, Gwen goes to Dr. Keller's house, and as soon as she got in, she injected Keller with a syringe, and helps her recall that she actually saw Gwen at the hospital before, while she was saving the patient Gwen tried to kill. She admits that she's killing her just so her identity remains a secret, it is revealed that she has fallen in love with Todd, and fantasizes to have a family with him. During midnight, Mira receives a call from an unknown person David, who introduces himself as a member of the group she has joined recently, she shares about Max's condition with him, but when she tries to see his face, she could only see a low-quality profile pic of him. David says that his wife has died, and is being helped by a nurse to handle the condition. Mira gains confidence having Gwen as her nurse for his son, but Mira is unaware that the unknown guy David is actually Gwen, who is talking to her with the help of a voice changer, just to convince her that she has done the right for his son by hiring Gwen. The next morning, Karen visit the house while the family was having breakfast, she accidentally spills juice over Todd, Todd then takes out his shirt. At this moment, Gwen seems to be mesmerized by Todd's personality, and she then take his clothes for wash, Karen while comforting Mira, says she will bring the bag from her office, she passes by the laundry room and accidentally sees Gwen, smelling Todd's shirt. On that night, Gwen talks to Mira as David, and asks about her and Max's health, Gwen then immediately hangs up on the call and approaches Mira, accusing her of talking to some other guy and cheating on Todd. After this, Gwen tells Todd about Mira talking to some guy on the phone. She tries to convince Todd that his wife is cheating on him. Todd defends Mira, saying she must be talking to doctor. And then, Gwen hugs Todd and says goodnight. The next morning, Todd and Gwen talks in the kitchen while Mira is still sleeping. Gwen always try to find ways to get closer to Todd, but then, Mira wakes up, spoiling her moment with Todd, it turns out that Gwen has made the breakfast and has done all the household by herself, later, Mira receives a call from Karen, thanking her for the flowers she sent her on her special day, Mira is confused because she haven't sent any flowers to her, Karen suggests her to see a doctor regarding her health, it turns out that Gwen sent the flows to Karen, 
She says she did it in case Mira would forget it. Mira faints as they walk downstairs. She says she will go to a doctor and asks Gwen to not tell about this to Todd. But Gwen asks her to stay at home and she will take her blood samples to the lab. Later, Mira again talks about her health with David at night. Just at this moment, Todd and Max arrives and asks her to come to bedroom to sleep. But suddenly, her vision becomes blurry, so she says she will follow after him. At this time, she receives a text message from an unknown Piran which says that David is a fraud. She then looking at the message falls asleep. When Todd comes to check Mira in the morning, he sees the the message and leaves. Mira then apologizes to Gwen saying she suspected her before but she proved to be trustworthy. Gwen is happy because everything is going as she had planned. Mira again receives a message from that unknown person but she blocks him and goes to work. At the office, Mira tells Karen that her test results are fine and Gwen suggested her to just get enough sleep and everything will be okay. But Karen asks her to see a doctor who has nothing to do with Gwen. Because Karen is doubtful about Gwen. But Mira ignores this. She then receives a message from Gwen disguised as David, that the unknown person who texted her is a spammer. But at this moment, she also receives a message of the unknown guy which she ignored this morning. It says that Max is in danger and ask her to meet him at the coffee shop tomorrow. She talks about this with Gwen when she reaches home. Listening to their conversations, Todd now believes that his wife has really cheated on him. Next day, Mira goes to the cafe, where she meets the real David Weber, who then reveals to her, that he was not the one she was talking to, and proves himself with evidences of how the fraud David is trying to misguide Mira. Mira is so confused but still doesn't think of Gwen being behind all of this. Todd who was following Mira to check whom Mira is cheating on him with, sees Mira with David, and is heartbroken. At home, Karen comes and gave Gwen the new special bag she got for Mira. Also, she admits that she saw Gwen smelling Todd's shirt, and threatens her if she's trying to play with the family, and if she is, then she will pay for it. While leaving, Gwen attacks her from behind, she takes her to a place and injects her with something and leaves her with her car. At home, Mira is cooking dinner while she receives a message from Todd saying, he will be home late tonight. Then, Gwen arrive with Max coming from his physical therapy, at one point, without getting noticed she picks up the knife and excusing herself, she reaches out to David Weber's home, it turns out that David knows Gwen because she was his wife's nurse before she died. She reveals that she was the one who made her wife to stop the therapy. David tries to kill her, but she stabs him smartly and pours some blood around him. She leaves taking David's bag with her. At night, Todd returns home drunk, as he's stressed about his wife cheating on him. Being unstable he was seduced by Gwen, but still, he tries to push her away from him and asks her to leave his room. Next day, Gwen tells him that it was Todd who tried to seduce Gwen not the other way. Unable to recall he admits for what he never did. Later, Mira wakes up and receives a message from David. I mean Gwen who is disguised as David, which says, couldn't sleep last night as the little guy was awake. She then suspects about how the term little guy is used by both Gwen and David, and she then check inside the tea bottle Gwen was giving her and founds medicine powder inside it. She goes to check Gwen's room where she finds books that explain some toxins and chemicals and also about their effects on human body, she finds several medicines hidden under the bed. She rushes out of the room, as she hear Gwen returning home with Max, Gwen is suspicious as she see Mira awake earlier than before, Mira tries to find out about the drug that Gwen had been giving to her, but then Gwen approaches her giving her more tea, and then, Max and Gwen proceeds to leave for physical therapy, Mira asks to not go for therapy today, but Max wants to go as he play football there, and then they leave. Mira then records a video as an evidence against Gwen. She calls Todd and explains to him about Gwen's true identity, but as she was leaving, Gwen comes in front of him, and it looks like she knows that now Mira is aware about her evil plans. Mira asks about Max, so Gwen takes her to where Max is. On the way, she admits to Mira that all she wants is a happy family like hers, and it can only happen if she could somehow clear Mira out of her way. They reach at the place, where Mira couldn't find Max. Gwen reveals that Max is at the therapy center. She got Mira here just to finish her off. Meanwhile, Todd reaches home to find Mira but only finds the recording of Mira showing Gwen's room. Here, she then explains how she killed David with Mira's fingerprints on the knife, and that the blood she dropped around David was of Mira, which she took from her for the lab test. Scared of her, Mira tries to escape, but is caught by Gwen from behind, they both then struggle in the kitchen. One wants to survive and the other one wants to kill. 
Mira somehow manages to smack Mira unconscious, and escapes out of the place. The ending of this film is somewhat messed up. All we see is that Todd, Mira and Max are happy together. We never got to see what happened to Gwen after this. This is where the movie ends, subscribe to the channel if you love movies, like and share the video, we appreciate it, see you again.